long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with... Thank you again for joining me or allowing me to join you as we spend time in God's Word for these few moments that we have together each weekday to look at the book of Proverbs currently and look at these statements of proverbial wisdom, some things that are encouraging us and teaching us on how to be a better servant of God. We come this morning to Proverbs 28. Proverbs 28. And let's look at the first six verses together. Proverbs 28, verses 1 through 6. The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. When a land transgresses, it has many rulers. But with a man of understanding and knowledge, its stability will long continue. A poor man who oppresses the poor is a beating rain that leaves no food. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked, but those who keep the law strive against them. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it completely. Better is a poor man who walks in his integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways. Let's stop there and let's just look at these for just a moment. The first statement, the wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Have you ever noticed that when you know that you have done wrong, that you're constantly looking over your shoulder, you're wondering if someone is going to find out. You, you feel that guilt, and that's what Solomon, I think, is saying. Those who do wicked, they're concerned because they know what they're doing. So they're running away when really maybe no one even knows about it because that guilty conscience is, is driving them that way. But the righteous, if you know you're doing what's right, then you have no fear. And then he talks some about countries, lands, nations, Verse 2 says, well, when land transgresses, it has many rulers, but with a man of understanding and knowledge, its stability will continue. I'm going to jump down to verse 4. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked, and those who keep the law strive against him. Evil man, verse 5, do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it completely. When a people, when a nation, when a land begins to turn away from God, to turn away from what's right, to turn away from the moral laws, then you find that land falling apart. They begin to focus on the, the wrong things, and then they become oppressed by many rulers. They become under a situation where they allow government to take over their lives, I think as Solomon is suggesting, instead of being righteous and being free. I need to speak to everyone, whether you're in the United States of America or, or Europe or wherever you might be. South America, but whatever country you might live in. Let me encourage you as, as a person of God that you be the righteous person. You may not have influence on the entire nation. Maybe you do. Most likely you don't. But you have influence on your family. You have influence on your neighbors. You have influence on those near you, those that you work with. You live a righteous life. And you pursue that righteousness. And you pursue that justice. And you pursue those good things, that love, and joy, and peace, and patience, and kindness, and goodness, and faithfulness, and gentleness, and the self-control that Paul would tell us are the fruits of the Holy Spirit in our lives. You seek that spiritual stance, that spiritual nature, so that you can become that better person and maybe influence those around you. And when we influence those around us, and they influence those around them, we can turn our nation, our land, our state, our people back towards righteousness and godliness. And we'll likely find that our nation, our people become a, a better people. Uh, and we find that our nation, our land, our people, our lives are freer and more blessed. Verse 3, but a poor man who oppresses the poor is a beating rain that leaves no food. Somehow when we feel like we're beat down on, we tend to beat down on someone else. It's the 
kick the dog syndrome. The, the dad comes home, he's had a bad day at work, so he gets mad at his his uh, wife who, who gets mad at the children, or maybe because they're both mad, they're mad at the children. The children have no one to, to be mad at, so they kick the dog. When, we're, when we feel oppressed, when we're poor, and we begin oppressing those beneath us, it, it does no good, Solomon is saying. It's like a rain that, that's just rain. It doesn't produce anything. It's just a flood. Better is a poor man who walks in his integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways, verse 6. Don't make your life so much about the things that you have, the blessings, the physical blessings that you have, the wealth that you attain. Make your life about being righteous and serving God. Because Solomon says, and God says, that's what's better. That's what's important. When we seek first the kingdom of God, Jesus says, those necessities of life will be taken care of. Because it's better to be focused on God than to focus on the riches, the wealth, and the attainment of things in this world. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you for your blessings, for your care, for your love. For they help us to be people who focus on what is right, and what is good, what is true, what is just. And not what we gain in the sense of worldliness or materialism, but what we gain in the sense of growing more and more like you in Christ. Father, forgive us when we fall short and help us to, to become better in you. Thank you for these words of wisdom from Solomon. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for allowing me to join you for this time of devotional talk. I look forward to the times we're together. I hope you do as well. So the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. We have come.